She's gorgeous. She is. She was like the ugliest one, baby. I mean, <laughs> damn. I was like, damn, put her, what? Hey, you are not a good looking baby. You're not. How do you. How she turned out to be pretty like that. Sure, I'm gonna get all up in here close, you like I know all, you and everything. Get all up in here. Come on now. Well, all right. I don't know because on the Brew Shack show, when we promote something or when we do an episode, we don't rehearse anything. We just kind of talk. That's okay. good. All right. So, welcome to another episode of the Happy Brew Shack Fun Time Show. I'm only sitting here with Craig and Chris, and we're talking about CNC. the CNC. Yep. CNC Music Factory. Oh, wow. That's right. And Throwback. we are talking about the North American Organic Brewers Festival. Guys, when are we having this? We are having this next week, everybody, y'all. 13th through the 16th, August. Yep. Change our dates this year, but we feel like it's a, a better move. We're yep. kind of excited. We're going to get sunshine. It's going to be 80 degrees and perfect. God, no rain. Overlook oh, Park, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous yep. facility. It's, um, and what I really like about the North Organic... Yeah, thank you. North or North American Organic Festival is, I, I love festivals, but I like kind of the smaller feel of this festival, and I like that it's family friendly. Yes. It's awesome because you can bring the kids, they can get their faces painted, get some root beer on tap, and also, like, I don't know, I always plug Fort George and I kiss their ass every single time, but god damn it, Spruce Bud is so good. Well, like, they, pick, they pick more than 200 pounds and their fingers are bloody, but oh, they do it for the love of the people. And I sticky. Know. And it's good. Yeah. But that's what seals the blood. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> wait, you know it is, the, the it is anyway. great that it's so family friendly because it's like literally you bring your blanket, you, mm -hmm. you, you set up, and we allow outside food and beverage. Not yeah. everyone knows that. As long as it's a non-alcoholic beverage, that's bring awesome. in your cooler, lay out a picnic. Have yeah. a good time. Yeah, but don't embarrass yourself and bring McDonald's. I mean, yeah, bring I mean, something come on. Good. It's, it's an organic, organic festival. You must bring organic food. Your Twinkies. Yeah. Some yeah. kick ass yeah. food. You gotta go to Whole Foods to get your ticket. Uh, yeah. My wife works at Whole Foods. This is really embarrassing. What a plug for Whole Foods. <laughs> what a plug for them. <laughs> we did not plan that. <laughs> no, we did not. You should be a sponsor of our <laughs> festival now. Yeah, so you could, never mind, I'm going to leave the personal feelings aside. Um, so, what breweries are you guys looking forward to? Okay, every year we get that question asked, and my answer right. is... Oh, I, have, I asked a redundant question. Yeah, you know, I have four, Jeez. no, well, no. Oh, right. I have four kids, it's kind of like, who's my favorite? Right. Clearly my youngest one is, because she's a littlest now. By right. default. By right. default. But... And it kind of it kind of goes the same way with the brews. I love when we get a new brewery that we've never had. Right. Yeah. Because it's exciting and more than likely we have not had that beer. So which I, would be Bo's All Natural. Yes. Out of yeah. Canada. Can't wait to try them. Woo nice. Yep. Got some Canadians uh, rep representing the house again. It's been a while. Yep. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so that's going to be something that I always look forward to, as well as just even some of the same brewers that come every year and do something new and exciting. It's always it's hard to pick because you don't really know per se what's going to be there at the festival until you've actually had it if you've never had it before. right so i look forward to that but i have to say that as the person who puts the program together i was just getting that ready for press and i was really struck by the variety of beers we have this year yeah. like there is a really good variety yeah it is true it's like, it like august made a little bit of difference maybe. yeah that is the cool. time yeah. of season i don't know and it was like you know because going organic is becoming such a an important thing to a lot of people it used to be that those were just like one-off beers that people would do but people are actually putting money into like big yeah. beers organically and I saw even Edgefield was did like a uh, barrel aged yeah, I mean, yeah like really I'm gonna minimums? tell you so McMinimums always sends four yeah. breweries say that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so they um, bad respect for McMinimums oh it's definitely and they love this festival because it's a chance for them to really yeah. showcase what they can do yeah. and I mean yeah they're taking their Edgefield you know, spirit barrels and agent right. stuff in it. It's, yeah. it's going to be amazing. Yeah, you know, I've, got, I've got plans to uh, shoot out there, and, and I, I do a lot of gin barrel aged beers, so I'm going to try to get their local gin distillery and, and do some barrel aged beers for that. I love what they do. Very good. Very cool. Yeah, I think that those guys every year, I mean, since the day we started, and I, I'll say, you know, Mike and Brian personally because they. They get it, mm -hmm. and of course, all their fantastic brewers and everyone works in the company that really cares. But the fact that they've always been like, how many, how many can we have? Yeah, because yeah. they want to represent. Yeah, right. because they really care, and it's, you know, it's part of their mission. It always has been kind of trying to stay local. But 
Yeah, man, they're always doing some fun stuff. It's never usually the same beer. But I also have to say the same thing. So, you know, you hear, okay, there's a beer festival. Oh, Widmer's there. Widmer's everywhere. But Widmer... No, same thing. Same thing. They're going to take, they take advantage of their small pile of brew to do something amazing just for this festival. And, and yeah. I yeah. love that. Yeah, if you go to a public house and, and have some of the stuff that you don't get in bottles or distribute anywhere, right. they make fantastic beer. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. Yeah. Really and Kurt and Rob, with her speak, same thing, respect out to them because, you know, not only they've been, like, really respectful and instrumental in my career, but everybody's starting out. So they've never forgot where they came from. Yeah. And they always are, you know, helpful to our festival, always. And they always are looking to do something new and exciting to say, this is what Portland's about, this is what we're about. And the same thing, it's awesome because I'm excited to see what that's going to be. Yeah. What that beer is going to be like. It's always good, it's always great. Yeah. So, yeah, that's awesome. Well, guys, I'm excited. I'm gonna shoot at the festival. I, I, I was. I'm always trying to like the weirdest things I can do at a festival to shoot. So last time at OBF, I, I followed around a guy from Oklahoma. But this year, I almost thought about. Well, that must finish. Yeah, it was. He had, he had a beard larger than yours, uh, and it. it was red. Yeah, and um, see, I used to have a really long beard. I lived in Tennessee. Anyway, long story. But um, I. I, I, I <laughs> <laughs> I, I almost wanted to do like almost just a sit down booth and interview like brewers as they as they're there and just come through and do the festival because come hang I think it'd be out awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's a yeah, great same, idea. That's, idea. that's yeah. where they'll Maybe check that's in. A super me. great idea. Yeah. Okay, but before we wrap up, because I get the feeling you're wrapping up. Yeah, because I'm doing a promo. Yes. Before we wrap promo. up, super excited about the Merchant Van Bottle Garden, which oh, right. is brand yes. new this year. Yeah, it is brand new. Going to have 11 yeah. bottled products from Samuel Smith out of Yorkshire, England, right. and Pinkus Mueller out of Germany. Mm -hmm. um, eight products from Samuel Smith, three from Pinkus, and in addition to the Bottle Garden, which is awesome all on its own, Pinkus is going to have their alts and their uh, pills nice. on draft, oh, wow. which is oh, it's yeah, actually right. uh, the one of the first times, the first time that it's <laughs> ever been on draft ever in the United States. Yeah, I was going to say outside. Yeah, they're taking that special it's just for the wow. pretty big deal. That's insane. Yeah. So people should come. So because it's so limited, we're only going to tap it at 4 p.m. on Thursday, Friday, and okay. Saturday. Okay. Well, good. Because 4 p.m., folks, y'all. 4 p.m. Thursday, Friday, and you said Saturday and Saturday. Perfect. So yeah, Sunday's then, God's day. So we'll Sunday. Cool. Yeah, and we close early on Sunday at 7 p.m. Five. 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 Oh my gosh. Yeah. Really, Lord. It's dark early. Get to work. It does. It's like yeah. <laughs> But um, so I'm gonna be there. Everyone's gonna be there. It I'm is my there. favorite Free festival coffee. in Portland during the summertime. Nice. It is Yay. fantastic. So we're gonna drink and just have some good organic beer and just hang out. That's right. And I do want to say one more thing about the Sam Smiths and the Vegas Throwback. We can't that's, stop talking. Because that's so a, certainly me. But that's reminiscent of the old days of the NLB because they were there from the second year on up until we got rid of, you know, because it wasn't feasible to do the bottles and all that. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of cool for the people that have been coming for a long time. Right. You're going to exactly. see some come great... Full circle. Full circle. Nice. It's going to be really cool. Perfect. Yeah, I love it. Cheers. All right. Thank and you before I wrap it up again, oh, anything oh. else? Uh, take the Max. See. Ride take, your bike. Take the Max. If you take the Max, token. and if you ride your bike and you park in the Hopworks Bike Corral, you get an extra token. Uh, bring your kids, and we have the... Um, Crater Lake Soda Company. Right. Kids get free rupert and orange cream soda. Ooh, this year. we got great face painting going and on. And designated Lots of fun. drivers. So that's oh yeah, I was gonna say my wife would probably hit up that rupert. Yep, 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 yep. No, like, like nobody's business. Yeah. And Sweet. I'd be glad to sit down and drink a beer with anybody wants to drink a beer. The same. Hey, that's why we go. That's fun. It is. Do you work during it or do you just hang out? You know, a little bit less and less every year. I've been able to in the last couple of years having fun. Well, no, because. Hard workers like Chris, who does I'm not sure everything, Chris everything. she does not. I was about to say. She's been like on a summer hiatus, or not even hiatus, that's the wrong word. Yeah. I, mean, so I, I was about to say, that was the office. Where's the office of hiatus? Low hiatus. Yeah, there you go. I've been on a low, low hiatus. hiatus all summer. All she does is beer festival. Low so, hiatus, yeah. yeah what a rough gig. Yeah. I know, Jesus. I know, cry me a river, right? Poor me, I have such a horrible job. No, but... She, she's she's the reason we even keep it rolling. So. Oh no, I, I think last year I actually. Uh, no, I'm gonna extend it out. I went I went with um with. Duke. Uh, just tune in, guys. We're gonna be here for a long <laughs> time. No, I hung out with Duke, uh, who's the Northwest Bison. rep for Bison. Yes. Yeah. Walking around, checking out the sights. 
chasing down some more tasty organic beer. It's the healthiest brew festival you're ever going to go to. Yeah, and we just we just hung out in the brewer's tent for like half an hour just playing with camera equipment. We were yeah. such nerds. <laughs> yeah. We're like, there's all the beer we want right in here. And then we went out to the festival and was like, Chicken oh, wings. Yeah, it was yeah. amazing. Yeah. But anyway, I want to thank you guys for putting on amazing well, festivals thank you. and letting for me come and bug you during your meetings and everything. So no, our pleasure, man. Pleasure so cool. to meet you guys. It very much. And um, so stay tuned, and we're gonna post some videos from the festival coming up soon. Boop, boop. All right. All right. Cheers. 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 From Laurelwood, coming at you live. <laughs> kind of sort. <laughs> kind of sort of. A little bit of a delay. Sweet. Awesome. Thank, thank you. you. I um. You control that from your phone? I just just record audio from here. Cool. Modern technology. Oh. Can I get a phone that works? <laughs> it's um this is actually look at that. It's got a like whole sound thing. Yeah, so I just have my this one mic here and then this guy right here. But I always let audio record throughout the whole thing. It's kind of amazing that he can do that and yet you can't run an entire Yeah, maybe I should get an Apple phone after all. You have an Apple or okay. Samsung? Here's your wife. It's an Apple. I think he needs a new phone. It's been acting up on this trip. The problem is he's been telling me that since January of this year. The excuse wears thin. It's true though. Oh, right. No, no, seriously, I actually hooked you, up my old phone You have phone a super today. successful company you hooked up and your, you can't Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. My it. meeting today with everybody? What do you mean you hooked up your old phone? What, I don't know what that phrase is. So I went from a Samsung 5 to a 6.